guys! As you can see, my background has changed because I am finally in Greece. Here's a little story. Since I returned home, I had this plan in my head uh, that I wanted to make my room more um, aesthetically pleasing because this room is the room I was born... No, I wasn't born in this room, I was born <laughs> in a hospital. <laughs> Brain, please. This room was the room my parents prepared when they were expecting me so right there it used to be my crib and this room was always had a uh, childhood vibes um teen years vibes and i wanted to change it to look more adult more mature and more uh my style uh, which i say my style but honestly i don't have just one style i like a lot of things recently i am very much inspired by cottagecore mainly i think because i i lived in scotland and i saw the scottish countryside and it was something that uh, made me realize how much i like uh, little cottages with gardens and things like that and since i live in the city and can't have that i wanted to bring it to my room uh, as much as I can. So yeah, without further ado, this is the whole makeover process of my room. I hope you enjoyed this video. Now I'm gonna go to voiceover me. So this is the initial mess I had to deal with when I moved back from Scotland. My mom used this room to put all the junk, which I later threw away or donated. I did a shitload of cleaning and decluttering. I'm happy with how everything turned out. So anyway, I started off by cleaning and decorating some shelves. You have to deal with my bralette. It is hella hot in Greece right now. I even took my dried flowers with me. I'm surprised they survived the whole airplane journey. So the first shelf was dedicated to witchy stuff. I have put candles, crystals, dried flowers and basically other stuff I found in nature. Um, the second shelf, the one below, was mainly for stationery like pens, pencils and my electronics, chargers, cables I frequently use, etc. I know it's not very aesthetic but I need these to be near me for quick access, you know. This is how they look now. And the next thing I had to do was take care of the piles of clothes. I did this off camera, but I managed to recycle a lot of these pieces and I'm very happy I did because not only I saved space, but I also gave them somewhere with more use than they'll ever have with me. Okay, so I procrastinated for two days <laughs> to do this, but I knew I had to do it eventually since I had all these stuff on my bed and had to put them on the floor in order to sleep. You cannot see it on the frame, but next to my feet I had two boxes, one for throwing them away and one for recycling and donation. I don't know, it's weird how relaxing and comforting it looks seeing my closet taking its final form. This is the final look. I managed to put every clothing piece and shoes that I own in here. Yeah.
that's done. So next, my office table still looks like a mess, even though I put my journals and sketchbooks away. <sighs> this will take a while. Now it's time for my grandma's boudoir. I don't know why this shot is so bright, I'm the worst. Um, yep. Hello, I'm 24 years old and I have botany, okay? I'm not afraid to show it. Oh well, this piece of furniture needs frequent cleaning. It absorbs the dust so easy, it's so painful. But, I don't know, it's pretty and vintage and it belongs to my grandma, who sadly passed uh, years ago. I don't know, sometimes I feel her watching me and protecting me through the mirror. Or maybe it's just my crazy imagination. <laughs> I never had any paranormal experiences, I only have this weird warm feeling that someone is watching me and taking care of me like a guardian angel or something. It would make sense if it was a past relative of mine taking care of me, you know. I don't know, does this sound crazy? Maybe? <laughs> anyway, back to the video. So I put all my lady stuff on the left drawer there. Razors, wax, face masks, hand creams, things like that. Uh, and in the two middle drawers, I put most of my jewelry, my beanies, uh, hair stuff, and things like that. Um, and on the right drawer, I put my camera and recording equipment. And yeah, that side of my room was basically done. This is me cleaning and disinfecting every single thing. Well, this is something beneficial that came out of this whole pandemic, right? Everyone started cleaning and disinfecting. So, yeah, this is the final look. Here you can see my makeup. The few makeup I own and my makeup sponge that never looks so clean. <laughs> Yay! I also added this rag on the floor because it gave my room a bit of cozy vibes. My room is so small, so this uh, rag was a perfect fit for it. Sorry for this jump scare. <laughs> It even got me, holy shit. Uh, so the next thing to take care of was this wall above my office table. I wanted to give this side a sophisticated look by putting some paintings with old frames. Uh, they took me so many tries to be completely straight and aligned. It nearly drove me mad. Also, wearing a black underwear was a bad idea, but hey, let's all pretend it's a bikini, okay? So, fine story with this Mona Lisa painting. I got this actually from Tiger when I was shopping downtown uh, some years ago. And since they did not have a big bag uh, to fit this in, I had to carry it all the way to my house and got so many comments and jokes by random strangers about stealing it from the Louvre Museum. It's sophisticated but also kind of funny to have a Mona Lisa painting. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> I later decided to put this Christmas garland, uh, I removed the ornaments, obviously, and instead I put some sunflowers. Is this called a score of Dark Academia aesthetic enough? Uh, adding some more paintings I stole from my grandparents' house, I mean, they don't need those anyway, because, you know, they're dead. <laughs> That's an out darker than I expected, sorry. Moving on to the door, where I previously had splashed red paint on it due to a teen angst outburst, but I cleaned it last year and it bothered me how empty it looks, so I took this idea from my house in Scotland. It's a great space-saving trick, nothing new and original, just something my house in Greece lacks, hanger behind doors. So life-saving. I also found this key holder box my grandpa had and hammered my finger in the process. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, I'm so clumsy sometimes. Uh, and I just popped some jewelry in, like necklaces I frequently wear and don't want to lose inside jewelry boxes. I think they're really uh, efficient for quick access. Uh, 
Uh, and the next and final segment, thank god my room is small, is the wall above the boudoir. This wall was my favorite shot and somehow I managed to shoot um, as blurry as I could. <laughs> So for this wall, I actually crafted some stuff, which you'll see on the next DIY video, uh, which is coming soon, so stay tuned. Uh, and yeah, that's the end of it. It's time for the big reveal now. Quelques leçons et suivre les concerts symphoniques. Mais je trouve ça bien inutile, fatigant et difficile. Alors, si tu veux m'écouter, je vais faire un effort et je vais chanter sur deux notes. Je vais dire je t'aime sur trois notes. Je te donne mon cœur. 